It's a nice day to travel, detective. You solved the Flustle case perfectly. Thank goodness things are calmer here in the London suburbs. Look out, detective! Someone's trying to break into the Count's estate. I now pronounce you husband and... Hey, you! Stop him! It's you! You were the famous detective who solved the case in Flustal. I'm Count Victor Osmond. Someone in a raincoat attacked my bride during the wedding. I can't tell if she's breathing, but it may just be shallow. Please, find something to check if she is. I can't see anything. Oh God, maybe she's just out of breath. Pulse, check her pulse. Her breathing is faint, but thank God she's alive. Everyone in the city knows about you. We're lucky you happen to be here. Thank you, detective. Did you see where the criminal ran? Maybe he left fingerprints or even some parts of his outfit. That scoundrel ran to the greenhouse. My brother Simon's there now. He startles easily and may be nervous when you find him. But some Valerian tablets should calm him down. Here's a key. The pills should be in his doctor's bag. They shouldn't marry. They'll be taken away. They're always taken away. You don't believe me, do you? But my brother doesn't understand the consequences of getting married. I do. Thank you. 
I don't need pills. You'll all burn. I'll just wait. You'll pay like you always do. You can't get married. Calm down, Simon. Don't lose your head. I have to take Adele to the house. The house is on fire! still smell the burning. Every time I close my eyes, the smoke comes. I need to find out everything, but she's afraid to talk. Maybe the cloak will help her keep her from being frightened.
damn you! Detective, help! There's a fire extinguisher in the closet. Come quickly! The strange fire won't go out. Maybe it's some kind of chemical. We need to call the fire department right away. But the phone is broken. I'm sorry I left you before. I had to bring Adele into the house. Did you find any evidence? I suspected Simon was behind this, but I didn't want to believe it. A chemical might have caused this mark on her neck, but how did Simon come up with this? We must stop him. There's a fire escape in the courtyard. I'll deal with the fire and call the firefighters. Don't let the criminal get away!
Please, Joanna. Don't be afraid of me. I just want to talk. You have to stop what you're doing to Victor's brides. It's not their fault. What? What are you doing here? Uh, I can't hold on anymore! No! Detective, are you all right? I called the fire department, but the fire went away on its own. I saw what happened on the roof. I can't believe it's a ghost. I need to take Adele to the doctor and keep her safe. Please, try to find a way to get rid of the spirit. Thank you. 
Victor locked me in here. My head hurt so much. The key. Well, it must be in his office. Detective, is that you? It's not my fault. It was all the ghost. 
I really need my sedatives. I have trouble concentrating without them. Victor probably has them. Please, could you get me some water? I feel awful. coming out of the fog. The ghost is Victor's first wife. She died in a fire years ago. I wanted to talk her out of going after Adele, but it didn't work. We need to get rid of the ghost. Her grave's in the family cemetery. There should be information about it in Victor's diary. Please, save my wife! She's still in there! I couldn't find her! I didn't make it in time to save her. According to the records, Victor tried to get rid of the ghost, but he was unsuccessful. He collected all the information about Joanna from his lake house. There must be a secret passage in the courtyard to the lake. There should be a mechanism in the statue. Now, I need to get some rest. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lady Joanna von Eisenberg and Count Victor Osmond, I now declare you husband and wife. No, Victor. I won't sell my parents' factory to cover your debts. And that's final. I can't believe I married someone so arrogant. You've left me no choice. The insurance for my mansion and the sale of your factory will cover everything I owe.
Damn it. All you had to do was stop my idiotic ex-wife's ghost. Once you stopped her, I would take her amulet and disenchant my beautiful bride. Do you even understand the prize I've found? Do you know how difficult it is to find a wealthy single woman with no family? <laughs> ah, here you are, Johanna. Your emotions did always keep you from thinking rationally. Sir Victor, stop right there. Detective... It's you. I heard gunfire in the cemetery and searched the area. Then I saw the Count dragging a woman away with him. No, oh, I'm bleeding. Please find a first aid kit. Here, this will help you stop, Count Victor, but please return it to me later. This is the key to the trunk. There, there should be a rope in there to use. Oh, and please don't tell anyone how we were injured. My probationary period isn't over yet. Don't take another step, Detective. You see, my fool of a priest will marry me to Adele, even if it's against her will. 
Then I'll get rid of Adele and do the same thing with my next bride. I didn't want it to go this far. I never planned to murder the policeman. But now, you'll have to die too. Please, don't let go! Pull me up! Thank you, Detective. <laughs> I owe you my life. Here, take this. Do whatever you want with it. Count Osmond, you're charged with attempted murder. You can go to my brides now. They're waiting in the crypt. Thank you, Detective. Now Victor will be brought to justice. That's all I ever wanted. A fair judgment, not revenge. The girls are safe now. As long as they were beneficial to Victor, he wouldn't have killed them. So I put them to sleep. Now my soul is free. Please give this medallion to my mother in Munich. Goodbye, and thank you. <laughs>